I am Donald Gallagher. I moved to Jersey City on, in February of 1982, and I'm a decorative painter, and a singer, and an activist, and a radical fairy, and <laughs> probably several other things. <laughs> uh, we're in Grace Van Voorst Church, like in 2nd and Erie Street in downtown Jersey City. It's an Episcopal church, which has you know, Episcopal church services, but it's also very much a community center, which also provides art, music, dance, meet local political meetings, you name it, the homeless, uh, little baby kids, uh, seniors. So yes, cultural, neighborhood, everything that you can think of. Currently I'm painting, uh, most all the painting that you see here, I, I did. And, uh, but I'm also like, I sing in the choir and I decorate like the altar and everything. There was a memorial service today, so I, I made that nice. And I do some weddings here every now and then. And uh, when I come, you know, I come, I participate. Yeah. I started recreating what it looked like in 1853, in 1987. When I arrived here, it, the walls, everything was just painted white and everything that's not, everything, I, I did everything else since then because the place was basically falling down. I mean, it was like, really, it was almost about to collapse. The whole front wall was about to collapse. And the diocese was basically wanted to tear it down because it was like, there were only like five parishioners here. But the bishop, Spong, wanted to save it because this was like kind of a very famous Jersey City like experiment in how to have a traditional Episcopal church serve a poor and vibrant but and very diverse community by a guy named Bishop uh, Moore. Uh, he started here and he completely recreated this whole way to have an Episcopal church in an urban setting. So he got this very dynamic priest called uh, Scott Kallstrom who came and like kind of like revitalized the place. And I was like, I lived just around the corner. So, and I used to come here like when it was like abandoned practically. And I discovered like that there were this, there was like a previous history to the place where it was like really, really beautiful instead of just like deteriorated and ugly and tacky and awful. And so when, when I saw that it was like coming back to life, I just came in and I said like, uh, you know, I know that there was actually like, there was something like really grand and wonderful before. Like, can I recreate it? <laughs> and they said, yes, <laughs> by all means, <laughs> go right ahead. take like a month off and like do do like six arches okay. and then I take another month off and I do another six or like in 2001 after the after the disaster I basically most of my work of decorating houses would be like in Brooklyn and in Manhattan so I had no work and there was no way to get to the city so I thought well what the heck so I did like all the upper windows and all the upper arches and the front wall in 2001. I went to Manhattan School of Music. That's where I got my degree in music. So music is like a huge part of my existence. I mean, like I, I still sing. I sing in the choir with Reverend Billy and the Church of Stop Shopping Gospel Choir. That's one of the joys of my life, is being a part of that activist thing. I think it took, it took us five years to just get over Fox News telling us that climate science is, is not real. I mean, why? Why did that take so long? Amen. 
Soprano! Amen, hallelujah. Amen, praise be. That's what you need. I still have like as good and as strong a voice as I do is because I went to Manhattan School of Music and learned how to sing <laughs> when I was like 17. You know, like they actually did teach me something, even though I, you know, I never made any money out of it. But I, I learned how to sing though. The music scene in Jersey City is amazing to me. It's like, it's like seriously beautiful, beautiful young rock and roll bands of every variety. Like, you know, it's like there's pop, there's heavy rock, there's like folk rock, there's just folk, there's like weird, there's weirder. <laughs> there's totally weird. <laughs> and, and there's just like sort of regular and ordinary, you know, like, so it's actually quite extraordinary, the, the, the scene down here. That was also like from like when I first moved here. That was also like one of the parts about like, wow, like who knew? Like I came from like this like cool neighborhood in Brooklyn and found like Jersey City was like way cooler, you know? Like the Jersey City gay scene is amazing. Our gay pride, I think, is one of the best gay prides anywhere. And like grooving on Grove and like, you know, dancing Tony, like the things that he does and that the city supports. Like that, it's just supported by the city. Uh, is like really extraordinary because, like, how many cities would actually do that? Block off like where the path train exits, and have like a rock and roll concert. You know, like, yeah, wow, is that how cool is that? Like Grace Church, the actual city fathers and mothers have realized that this is like an asset. It's like something like we should encourage. The same thing with the art. 25 years ago was the anniversary of the first cathedral arts, which was like this, this space would be transformed into a gallery. And it was almost like totally local artists who would show here. At that time, like 25 years ago, there was almost no place where that was happening, where like local artists had a place to show. Now there's like lots of places, but like then there wasn't. So this was like a really good function to like provide for the neighborhood. I love my 